Hello and welcome to another edition of Talkin' Tunes. I am your host, Frank Walsh. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for all of the cards and emails and texts that I receive about our last show featuring Eileen Springer. You might remember she entertained us with some great music and since then she has taken her act on the road and as you know, look her up online and you can see where she is performing. But as a result of that show, I have been introduced to our next group of guests. And I have to tell you, I don't know them very well, but listening to them perform in their rehearsal, you folks are in for a treat today. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you this group of people to my right, the Demented Poet Society. And it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Roe Evans. Rick Carden and Ed Hershey. So, lady and gentlemen, welcome Hello. to the show. Hello. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're honored to be here. I, I am really looking forward to sharing your music with the people at home because, as I said, I haven't heard you folks other than a couple of videos that you have out there. And I have to tell you, you guys are really good. Thank you. Thank you. So, why don't you look into that camera and maybe one at a time uh, introduce yourself a little bit and uh, just give the folks at home a flavor of who you guys are. Um, I'm Roseanne, and I am the singer-songwriter, um, <laughs> and uh, I, uh, I, these are my guys, and uh, I really enjoy playing with them. Um, we are, uh, just to let you know, uh, we are playing out. Uh, we did take a, a little hiatus break, but we're on iTunes, and if you like us, please, you know, like us on Facebook. We are on Facebook, and if you want to message me, it's Ro Evans on Facebook. Um, and we are going to be doing a uh, benefit for the Nepal vic uh, victims and survivors on May 30th at the Workman's Hall in Norwood. And we'll be performing there with a whole bunch of great bands. So check us out. And you guys? Uh, my ahead. name is Rick Carden. I'm from Seekonk, Massachusetts. I was, uh, grew up there. I live in Rhode Island now. Um, came from a big family. Uh, I had five brothers and sisters. I have two children. Um, and I play Roseanne's music. <laughs> and I love it. And um, that's about it. How long have you been drumming, Rick? Since I was in third grade. <laughs> <laughs> Still my job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Ed Hershey. I've been playing with Ro and Rick for the last four years. I uh, met an open mic night and play guitar with them. Uh, during the day, I do IT work, but uh, this is my passion. Cool. Oh, there you go. Now, you had uh, mentioned a little bit about you'd met at an open mic. I was going to say, how did you three get together? How, uh, you know, how did you decide that your three, three uh, sets of instruments would match and you can play the kind of music that you do? How did that come about? Um, I met Rick, and then um, I didn't know he was a drummer. And uh, then he began to play a little. He began to watch me play out by myself, because that's originally how I started. Mm -hmm. um, I've been writing and singing since I was about 13. And um, he told, he just watched me, and then he brought along the bongos, and then it led to the djembe, and then the incredible power set of drums he has. <laughs> and then uh, we ended up going to an open mic night and met Ed. Very cool. And we said, this is the guy we need to have as our solo guitarist. <laughs> now, folks, you know, if you are uh, watching this TV and I said to you, pick out the drummer, hmm, I wonder which one they'd pick out. <laughs> yeah, I fit the uh, stereotype, I guess. <laughs> I love to play, though. I mean, I took lessons for about six years, and um, I had to wait to get my drum set because my parents thought I was going to quit after I got the drum set. And uh, So I went through, like, about six years, five or six years, and... Uh, they finally bought my drum set, and then what I did is I should have stuck it and went to school, but I, uh, I ended up you know, quitting the drum lessons like they thought I would do. And I just took everything I applied on the um, snare drum onto the drum set, and it's good. I, you know, I feel comfortable doing it. I do. I'm not a, I mean, I'm not the greatest drummer. I know I'm not. And it's, um, but I do it because I love to do it. It's the simplicity of the music and, and just playing and keeping the vibe and the, uh, the beat going. And that's what it's all about for me. Well, great, and I think that that's a great segue, folks, because rather than to listen to us talk, I think the best way for these folks to express themselves is to play a little bit of music. Right. So nice. why don't you introduce this song okay. and um, take it away. All right, this song is called I Sing to Myself, and uh, everyone does occasionally. I know mm -hmm. I do, and someone probably does in the shower now and then, so <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Say 
the grass is always greener. On the other side, I choose to keep to myself. Oh, 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 oh where the music can stay alive. Some people say the world is a little brighter. down on you If that's what you nice see folks i told you at home that you were in for a treat today but um i'll say the same thing to you that i i had said to eileen when she was on my show a couple of weeks ago i listened to that song and i think it takes me somewhere it brings me to a place that peace a little quiet and i could see myself being introspective and 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 talking to myself and I think that's one of the greatest things that music does is that you want to deliver a message and you want people to feel your music and I think that that song that you just played definitely took me to a place and I just got engrossed into your song and thank you very much for doing that thank that was you. a great thank song thank you very much now where do you guys get your inspiration to write your songs do you have any musical influences or do you try to copy anyone in particular or um, I, I I write all the uh, the music uh -huh. and the uh, um, and, the, and the words, and I give creative uh, expression to the drummer and mm -hmm. the, the guitarist because I I don't want to I don't want to halter anyone's creativity. Mm -hmm. um, so we basically just come up I come up with the stuff and I bring it in, and I say this is what I have, guys. You know, 
rip it up. <laughs> right now. now, when you write, you know, which, uh, which comes first, the lyrics or the melody? The um, melody or the lyrics? Mostly the lyrics, and then some, you know, sometimes the, the melody will come to, uh, sometimes I wake up in the morning and I have something in my head. Cool. Um, so, you know, and then other days it takes months and months and months and months to create, and then sometimes it takes three minutes, so you yeah. just never know. Very interesting. When the inspiration hits, yeah. I guess, you kind of yeah. have to roll with it, you know? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, you know, I've done a little bit of writing. I mean, I've written some songs, and I, I write a lot of poetry and so forth. And, yeah. you know, I just find that some things will just come to me. I'll be driving in the car, and I'll hear a, I'll hear a, a, a rhyme. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, that rhyme becomes a beginning or an ending to a song. It's so true. And then I just grab a pen and a paper and start scribbling things down. I must have... A hundred unfinished songs in my head. <laughs> right, 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 right. I have a lot of them that are unfinished. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, we're going to be working on some of Ed's um, originals uh, music, and I'll be putting lyrics to it, and hopefully putting down the guitar for a little while. Well, great. Yeah. Um, do you have another song queued up for sure, us? Sure, sure. Uh, why don't you introduce this song? Sure. This one's called uh, "Long Train to Coming," and uh, it's about life and. Uh, your left, your right, um, <laughs> how it can drive you insane, <laughs> how it can go up and down, <coughs> you know, your feelings or everything like that. So, As but, opposed to A Long Train Running by uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. John Fogarty and the boys. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Bob, Bob Dylan has a song called yeah. Long Train Coming or Running or whatever. Running, Bob yeah. Dylan has a song wow, like that too. Cool. I didn't know that because when I first wrote it, it was Long Train a Coming. And then I said, A Long Train a Coming. So whatever comes out of my mouth, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Well, take it away, folks.
drives me insane. Wow. <laughs> it keeps getting Thank better you. and better. <laughs> I mean, I can't wait for the, uh, for the next one, you know, because uh, one and two were pretty darn good. So as far as um, thank you very much. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. It uh, gives me great pleasure to to bring new people onto the show, and um, it's just it, it it blows me away when not only do I hear the music, but I see I see the passion and I see the energy that you guys put into it. It's clear that you are not just playing a guitar or banging a drum or playing a guitar. That you guys are putting your heart and soul into that. And I think that that's one of the big differentiators for me. I mean, I've been to many different concerts. I've seen many different people. And the best ones are when you know that the artists are really putting their heart and soul into that. And that's what's coming across in your music. Being this close to you, I can actually feel that. I can feel that energy coming from you. Thank and, you. Thank um, you very much. Thank you don't very lose much. that. Nice don't comments. lose that. Thank you. No, so you do it because that. we, well, it's, I think a lot of it's just kind of based on love because we love to play music, you know, yeah. and Absolutely. we feel it, and, and, you know. And then God gave me this beautiful voice. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's my gift to give it to others. Well, you we, do it very, very well. And <laughs> we do a lot of benefits for that reason. We do benefits for, we did one for Boston Marathon. We did one for cancer. So we like to do a lot of, you know, work for free because, you know, that's what music's all about, well, too. Pay it forward, huh? There you exactly. go. That's it, exactly. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you know, as you can see, time is going by pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Do you have another song queued sure. up that you Would can Would you share? like a fast one or a slow one? Hey, um, <laughs> I, I, am, I am leaving that up to you. Song. Do you want to do you know? forgotten song? Okay. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. Is that what was planned anyways, right? Yeah, that was, or we can do, you know, MRB, it doesn't matter. Anyway. Take it away. Thank you.
Wow. <laughs> Once again, folks, uh, you are listening to the Demented Poet Society. And I have to tell you, folks, that uh, you guys just keep getting better and better and better. Thank you. I tell you, I wish there was a CD out and I wish the show was an hour because I could listen to you all day. <laughs> But let me ask you quickly, you know, you guys played the Demented Poets and, uh, you know, if I went out into your car and flipped on a radio station or pulled out a couple of CDs out of your glove box, who would I find? <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, well, you find Grateful Dead. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Led Zeppelin, because I have to learn a lot of Led Zeppelin songs now. <laughs> and uh, Janis Joplin. What about you, Rick? Um, from when my youth, I was, my roots go from like, the blues, um, the Who would probably be one of my favorite, I mean, that type of style. But as I got older, I got more into metal, so you'd probably find anything like Opeth, Elevati, <laughs> okay. um, Doc Tranquility, just certain like metal bands. Like well, that. I'm so going to make like, it a little bit jealous. If you're not going, I'm going to be seeing the Who in their 50th reunion concert. I, oh, up I up saw them with weeks. Simon Phillips back in the 80s when they toured around. It was a wow. great show. Really wow. good show. Really cool. What about you? What am I going to uh, hear in your, your CD player? Well, I love Led Zeppelin. I also uh, into the blues. It's sad that BB BB King. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we lost yeah. her. We lost yeah. her really good because you know I sing blues yeah. too. Yeah. Sorry about that. But go ahead. And Stevie Ray and um, Jimi Hendrix. I also love classical like Segovia, Mark Knopfler, the Dire Straits. Are Very cool. Yeah, yeah I've, I've seen I've seen uh, Dire Straits and Mark Knopfler, and he's coming around again. He's he's touring again, so he's going to be around. He's, oh, I like to he's, see him again. Yeah, yeah, he's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Um, did you happen to see when you had mentioned Led Zeppelin? Uh, did you happen to see the uh, heart in the John Bonham oh, show? Oh yes, that's yeah. beautiful. Did you happen to see that? Yes, I, mean, I, I saw, saw them a video live. of it. Did you see them live? No, no. no. no we I saw happened, Celebration Day though. Oh my when God! That came I out. happened to catch them live when Heart and they had Jason Bonham and uh, oh, you know, yeah. Zeppelin doing nice. Stairway to Heaven. And oh my God! I saw the video of it. It was really, oh, really it was, well. It was unbelievable. Well done. Well, well done. Well, we have some very, very similar taste in music. But, um, you know, as you can see, time is winding down. Do you have a little short one that you could play for us right. for uh, sure. a couple, couple, do, couple of minutes? Do a couple of bars the, of uh, uh, MRB. MRB. Yeah, yeah it, bring, it, bring, it, bring us down to a, about a minute. It's All a right. censored okay. tune. <laughs> we'll bring you out. How's that? Right. No, okay. bring down us to down minute. to a minute. Okay, ready? Yep. Since you left me, baby. Since you left me, baby. Since you left me, baby, since you left me, baby, you're no longer by my side. I've got the dream. I think we better. Uh, I think we better check the uh, check the screen and the and the cameras because I think that last note yeah, might have might have the whole song. Yeah, <laughs> might have might have shattered them a little great. bit there. You know. Just that one little. Uh, <laughs> okay, wow, that good. was uh, that was awesome. Um, so you know what uh, what little bit of time we have left. Um, is there anything else that you would like to share with the folks at home or say hello to anybody before you go? I just go? like to say thank you for all your support and um, oh sorry. All your support and all your um, your generosity and everybody that <laughs> that everybody uh, shows us and if you like us you know like us on Facebook and uh, I put a lot of stuff on on Demented Poet Society uh, page website and also on Roe Evans if you want to look me up on there or you can look up Rick Hardin or uh, Ed Hershey and give us a shout we'd love to hear from you and. Uh, 
I think that's about it. And, and please try to come out to the Nepal Survivors Benefit. Kathy Hammer's been working really, really hard on it. On May 30th. Yeah, on May 30th. Thank Where you, Where is it again? And it's at Workman's it? Hall in Norwood. And that's posted on um, Dementia Poet Society as well. It's called Roar. <laughs> Well, great. Uh, any, uh, anything you guys want to say? No, Short and sweet? Thank, thank you very much for having us, and it's a great opportunity to come and play. You know, Yes, this was it's, very, very well. Good experience. Very honored to have you. Well, yeah, thank you. It, it, it's, it's a pleasure for me. I mean, I am a music guy, and, and I just, like I say, the passion and the, the soul that you put into your music obviously came through today, and I think the people at home can share that with me. Definitely. So uh, for Rick and Ed and Ro, I want to say thank you to our intern, Sean, who made us all look pretty on the camera today. Thank you, Sean. And also, Thanks, Sean. Uh, I want to thank Jeff Pickett for his great production and Michael Hammond, who helped put this thing together as well. So, for my guest, the Demented Poet Society, I am Frank Walsh, and as always, tune in and tune on. That was good.